going on everybody riding frame here with a um, update video on my 94 which is like the fifth or sixth update video I've done on this thing but uh, I got a lot done last night so I gave everybody like a quick sneak peek so today I'm here to show you 100% everything I've done so let's get to it so black wash the front grill that looks real nice I got a little bit of red on the Chevy logo so just to bring out all the red on I, I mean silver and red is pretty much the whole theme of this truck um I got my ignition box painted up that looks real nice oh, what else I got my batteries in, got those all painted in, those look real nice. I got my hydraulic cylinders in the back wired up. A little bit of wire and I made like a little T out of some brass tubing. I don't, you guys can't even see that, but it's a little T out of brass tubing. And then wired that all up. That's going to go to my hydraulic pump when I find one. Um, I painted the back of my axle silver, painted my fuel cell silver and got the filler tube black with the silver um, piece I did a little bit of detail on my um, fuel cell pretty much the frame is done I got I mean I got I gotta poke two small holes in the front right here to drop my my uh, hydraulic cylinders in there and then wire those up and so I mean the frames pretty much done I just got a little bit more work to do it looks really nice um, I got my motor done up a little bit I just did it red with silver it looks really nice kinda old school hot rod style I got all my little got my all my little um, gauges on the engine right there you can kinda see it Got it all plumbed and everything. Got a little netting inside my stack there. I just got to build the exhaust pipes because this frame is so narrow on the front end that you can't get an exhaust down through there. So they got to come over top of the frame rails and come out. Um, the interior. I got the interior done last night, I believe. Yeah. Um, really nice. Red with silver. My seats are in and working. They do rotate forward, so that's real nice. Rotates forward and back. Um, I got the flat black or flat red for the seats. Flat red for the door panels with the silver, you know, splitting the two. And I did red flocking all over the floor in the back wall here. And got that all done up. That looks real nice. You know, with the red steering wheel, or yeah, the red steering wheel and the red shifter. And, um, but I do have a little tip for you guys. Um, as for flocking, if like I know a lot of guys order flocking, you know, Ken's fuzzy fur, I think is one of the things I've ordered a ton of it, and you know, over years of building model cars. But the flocking I use for this, if you guys have a Michaels, if you have a Joanne Fabrics, I think you, maybe even Hobby Lobby might sell the this, this stuff. I'm sure there's probably even some local other stores that sell the stuff. But any place that pretty much sells like Martha Stewart uh, hobby stuff may have some of this. It's called uh, Martha Stewart Crafts. Comes in a big old jar. I mean, you can see it's a huge jar compared to my hand it's a pretty big jar and it's flocking fur I mean it's just it's really good stuff surprisingly it looks really nice on my floors and stuff I'm a hundred percent convinced on the stuff it's like I think I paid five bucks for it and it comes with a really nice let's see if I can show you it comes with the full open so you can really dump it on there or it comes with like a little shaker piece so you know you can get certain amounts or whatever you could you know do red maybe with some black or something however you want to do it I mean choices are endless 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm a complete seller of the stuff. It comes in all colors, black, blue, like light blues. I think there's a bunch of dark blues or some purples or some pinks. There's a bunch of colors. But I'll definitely be going back to get more. Um, so yeah. As of right now, that is the 94. I blackwashed the wheels too. I forgot to show you guys that. And then detailed the um, valve stems on there. I did a little valve stem sticking out on each side, so those look real nice. But the bed has been, the inner bed has been rhino lined and everything. And hopefully, the next time you guys see this, it will be completely finished. But for now, it's not too far away. Like I said, I just got to get a hydraulic cylinder or a hydraulic pump to set back there. And then this thing will be finished. But, like always, till next time, later.